Hi there, Amber. You know, people living here in McDougal Terrace say this proposal could lead to a safer community, transforming housing and lives. I'm very thankful they really doing it, trying to get some change in, um, going on in this community. I met 20 year old Ashanti Jackson and her two year old daughter Josiah on their afternoon walk. She's lived in McDougal Terrace all her life. And while she's heard of the proposed redevelopment plan, she hadn't seen it until I showed her the renderings. I want to know, what do you think about it? It looks great. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I hope I'm able to stay out here still. Look. McNugle Terrace was built in 1953. It has 342 units with a current population of 284 families. Right now, the median annual household income is $3,768. Our plans will be to raise all of those units and rebuild, and we would probably end up with about 600 units in total on that site. Durham Housing Authority CEO Anthony Scott says this redevelopment plan will cost millions, transforming McDougal Terrace into a mixed income community of affordable public and market rate housing. He says families will be relocated to another DHA owned property and their moving expenses will be covered. So we'll make sure that whatever we tear down, we're going to replace. And then the second is that when we're doing this work for those units, those public housing like units that come back, Families will have an opportunity to come back to those units if they choose to. Community meetings between McDougal Terrace residents and Durham Housing Authority have been ongoing since September of last year. Bull City leaders say this plan will advance equity in the community. One, the people that are there get to stay there, but they also get to stay there with all of the stuff that their taxpayers, their tax dollars have supported for other people for generations while it was denied them. He's talking about people like Ashanti and her family who are now hopeful of what the future here could bring. It should be safer. I feel like it should. It, I feel like it's going to be safer because the complex is like how I look. And back out here live, this is not a done deal just yet. The Durham Housing Authority is hoping to hear back from HUD. That should take three months. I'm told from there, plans will be made to move forward. We're live in Durham. Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, they are cautiously optimistic, but waiting on that federal approval, we'll be following it very closely. Akila, thank you.